I'm a little nervous going to that party tonight. I haven't been to a party since last summer. I got to play my songs. Oh, this is the necklace that I got uh, last week uh, at the uh, uh, at Goodwill, and the matching earrings. I was so I was so happy when I saw them. I'm debating whether I should wear this tonight to the party. It seems a bit much. the best intentions when it comes to wearing necklaces. In the end, I look in the mirror and I, I just end up taking it off. I don't know why. I don't know why. I think, I think deep down, I think it's just, I'm shy. saying too much with my necklace but this one's so pretty and it's Christmas time yeah it's Christmas time It's wonderful to talk to you today. How are you doing today? I know it's Christmas time and it's such a beautiful, glorious time, but I know it can be stressful. So I hope everybody is doing well and keeping calm and having a wonderful time with friends and family. Thank you so much for going shopping with me last week. Uh, going thrift shopping is such a joy of mine and I have a blast. And uh, it's wonderful that you go with me. And it's wonderful that I can interact with you. Because when I'm actually in that thrift store, I feel you with me. So I have a wonderful time. And oh, and I wanted to say congratulations to uh, Mary Glitzy Fritzy. Uh, she does have a channel, uh, and I'll link it below. But Mary won my giveaway, my Wu Long Tea giveaway. And uh, um, I sent that out to her, and I was so happy. Um, you know, it's funny. Uh, the first week I was uh, drinking uh, that diet tea, uh, I lost five pounds. And uh, this week, uh, Again, now I haven't lost any weight uh, this week yet, uh, but my appetite is just, it's just not there. I'm on the 10 pound challenge, so I have to lose 10 pounds by January 3rd. And I know a lot of you out there are doing this with me, whether you're drinking tea or not. So I'm already halfway there to my uh, challenge uh, weight. So um, I am really excited. You know, I really needed something to kickstart my diet. Uh, so this was really really wonderful and today I wanted to talk about something a little bit fun um, if you are going to a, a family Christmas party or a holiday party I wanted to talk about something that uh, you could use right away and it would take uh, a few years off your face so it might give you you know a little bit of boost walking into the party uh, knowing uh, that you look absolutely fabulous. So I thought today I would talk a little bit about Argeline. Um, I may not be pronouncing that right, but um, at least I don't call it Argentina. Uh, but I'm going to call it Argeline. Now, my friend uh, Cheryl from Free Range Diva, she did a video on Argeline and she pronounces it so beautifully. I should, I should have watched that video many times and learned how to pronounce but it. But she did an in-depth video about Argeline. She has been using it for about seven years without side effects. And she looks absolutely stunning. She looks half her age. Without listening to Cheryl and without seeing 
her face, I don't know if I would have even tried Argelaine because there haven't been any real long-term studies done on it's there is a, a double blind going on but the results have not been released and uh, there are uh, some side effects that women have reported um, nothing uh, you know too serious but still um, with anything that you try you know there's going to be side effects there could be side effects and you're always going to want to discuss any new product with your doctor but with that said um, I did uh, so much of the research on Argelaine to try to find out what it is, how we use it, how much does it cost, how many companies are producing it, and which one is the best. I think the first thing to know about the product is that it comes in different strengths. Uh, it comes in 10%, uh, 20%, and I actually saw uh, a bottle that is being offered by a company that has 30% Argelaine. Argelaine is a compound, a chemical that is produced uh, artificially uh, to mimic uh, some of the components that you find in Botox. So in other words, you know, when you have Botox injections, it relaxes your face. So you, you know what Botox does. Well, um, Argelaine is uh, it's like its cousin, but it's topical. There's no injections. And what it does is it relaxes how the muscles clamp on your wrinkles. That's kind of an oversimplification of what it does, uh, but that's basically uh, the premise. So when you are, oh, and this is, a, let me just say, a Skin Diva, Skin Deva, I believe it is, um, they sent me uh, a bottle of their Argeline and they have coupled it with uh, hyaluronic acid and Matrixyl 3000. And so a very, very common cocktail for Argeline is the Matrixyl 3000 and hyaluronic acid. These three things on your face at the same time uh, give you almost to look like you've had some work done. You've had a little Botox. Your 11s are smoothing out. Some uh, lines in your forehead are smoothing out. The crow's feet around your eyes are not as deep. Your lines from nose to mouth are uh, uh, smoothed out. And the number one thing that I noticed is uh, the jawline seemed very tight. In fact, my whole face is tight. But uh, anyway, they recommend that you use uh, a couple drops in the morning, a couple drops at night, uh, that you keep this in a cool, dry place. But there are specific things that you're gonna wanna do when you apply it. Uh, after you clean your face, um, what I do is I apply a few drops of my rosehip seed oil and I let that sit in. And then I go ahead and I um, take my Argeline and I use three drops and I pat it all over my face. I don't rub it in, I just pat it and it's so emollient. It, it just feels so great on your skin. And then once you have it in place, you're gonna wanna fan it. You're gonna wanna fan it until it's dry, which is usually between one or two minutes. And I know what you're thinking. I can hear you. You're saying, I don't have an extra one or two minutes to be fanning my face so this serum can dry. Hmm, okay. And I understand that because I don't always have you know time to be doing that either. But when you're doing that and you feel it setting up and you feel your skin tightening and you know, it is a special occasion and you do want to look your best. So you know, it's one or two minutes, but what the heck, it doesn't hurt as much as high heels. So, and it doesn't hurt at all. I mean, it feels fantastic on the skin. Since I've been using this, I actually have really cut back on using primers. So after I, uh, after I fan it and it sets up, I'm usually a pretty happy camper. <laughs> so I put a little bit of argan oil and then I go right into my makeup.
If you have time, I would go ahead and Google Arjaline and find out all you can about it and read uh, uh, all the pros and the cons and um, uh, make a decision on it. You know, when you're having something that's giving you uh, results that are very close to Botox, um, I just think it, it's wonderful to research. It's wonderful to talk to other women who use it. It's wonderful to know how to use it. And I also think it's important to try it from a couple different other companies to find out which might be the best match for you. Now Skin Diva I know has a wonderful reputation. I'm very grateful to them for sending me uh, this product and letting me try it and helping me learn how to use it. But also um, a lot of things that I have learned, I have, used, I have learned from studies that are available uh, on the internet about this and testimonials. I like it and I'm kind of excited about it. I have a, a Christmas party I'm going to tonight and you know I'm feeling pretty good about myself right now. I mean I have allergies, uh, my face is very swollen um, and I felt that you know this really helped uh, tighten it up and uh, gave me a little extra confidence that I really did need this week. Angels we have heard on her Sweetly singing all the plains And the mountains in reply Echoing their joyous dreams Gloria In excelsis Deo Gloria In excelsis Deo This jubilee, why your joyous strains prolong. If you have a channel, I want you to make sure that uh, you mention it in the comments. I know that there's this very mysterious taboo that, you know, if we're commenting on someone else's video, we're not supposed to mention we have a channel. And I just think that is silly. I mean, how do I know that you have a channel if you don't tell me? And I just have never understood this rule. So I just wanted you to feel 100% comfortable that if you have a channel or if you have a vlog or a blog and uh, you want to talk about it or you even want to link to it, um, go ahead. It's fine. You know, we're all in this together. And there was just one more thing that I quick wanted to mention. And I have a friend, uh, Ellen, and she's a, a, my friend on Facebook, and one morning, she's very thoughtful, and one morning she sent me over a video of uh, an older woman talking about uh, women and tapping into the power that we have, and that many women don't know how powerful they are, and they don't know how to use their power, and she was talking about how she has this little voice in her head sometimes. Uh, when she is trying to accomplish something and that voice in her head says, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are going for that job? Or who do you think you are uh, in that yellow and orange outfit? I mean, just this, this dialogue of doubt and um, attacking her confidence. Because even though perhaps I don't hear that voice in my head saying, who do I think I am? Certainly I and perhaps every woman on earth one time in her life or another has struggled with feeling 100% confident. You know, a lot of our confidence comes from when we were little girls and someone told us we were doing a good job and they instilled confidence in us so we could have confidence within us. But if we didn't get that as a child, then as we grew up, we, we had to cultivate it ourselves. We had to build our confidence from the ground up. And I think that's a process that is never ending. We are always building our house. And I just think that uh, I had just such a wonderful dialogue with Ellen about, about feeling confident. And it, it kind of renewed my hope. and and my passion for, um, for this 
beautiful life and living every day and and learning something new every day and trying to be brave. Thank you, Ellen, for sending me that because anything that you get that helps us tap into the power that we have as women and the power that we have over our lives to change our lives, to enrich our lives, or to enrich other people's lives. Wow, you know, that's a very good morning to get that message. And I thank Ellen for that. So on that note, I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Uh, I hope you get to spend time with your family and I hope you love your gifts and I hope you have some kind of spiritual connection and all that wonderful good stuff that comes with Christmas. So have a wonderful, wonderful holiday. And when you're done, you come back and see me and Cooper, okay? All right, it's a deal. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I think we don't know just how good.